So in this model, we are going to discuss that is market price of a gift item is one seventy six rupees and sold it for one sixty five rupees. Find the discount percentage. So they are given for this market price. Market price that is MP will be equal to one seventy six rupees. Then selling price will be equal to. So selling price that is SP will be equal to one sixty five rupees. So one seventy six and one sixty five rupees. What is the discount percentage? So what is meant by discount? We will give some less amount to. They will going to discount. That means they will going to decrease. Decrease means maximum price, maximum retail price. MRP will be like a market price. So MP minus if you subtract from MP selling price, then that is the amount. So market. What is the market price? That is one seventy six. What is the selling price? One sixty five rupees. You will get around eleven rupees of discount. They are going to decrease. Then they will going to sell at one sixty five, given eleven rupees discount. Then what is the discount percentage formula? So that is discount percentage. Discount percentage will be always whatever here we will get that only right there. How means actually discount whatever percentage calculation means discount percentage means discount by market price. So for all discount means denominator you will get only market price into hundred. Percentage means we have to multiply with the hundred. If it's a profit percentage, profit by cost price. Sir, then it's last percentage, last by cost price. For whatever it is there, we have to get cost price or market price. Then what is the discount? Eleven by market price will be one seventy six into hundred. Then we can divide with what? With two two five are ten. Then zero as it is. Then two eights are sixteen. Then two eights are sixteen. Then again, what you'll get eleven ones are eleven eights are. Then here, what you'll get fifty by eighty. So we can do with two fours are eight. Then two twenty five are. So you can write like twenty five by four. You can write like. So here, you know, mixing fraction we're going to write. Already twenty five is there. Twenty five here. What is the multiple with four? So four ones are four. Four twos are eight. Four threes are twelve. Four fives are twenty. Then four fours are four six are twenty four. So here you can write six. Here you can write one. So discount percentage means we are going to represent with percentage symbol. Therefore, what you can write here is discount percentage. That is D percentage will be equal to six one by four. Percentage. You can write six one by four percentage as like six point two five percentage also. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Hello viewers. In this module, we are going to discuss that is seventh question. A sick a shopkeeper purchased two hundred bulbs for ten rupees each. However, five bulbs were fused and put them into scrap. The remaining was sold at twelve rupees each. Find the gain or loss. So when you will get gain and when you will get loss. So gain you will get if selling price is more than cost price. So gain means profit. That is, if you sell any item with a more cost than what you purchased, then you will get profit. Then when you will get loss is if Selling price is less than cost price. So selling price, let's take this is cost price will be hundred rupees you bought. Then if you sold at ninety rupees, then it will be loss of ten rupees. So let's take here ten rupees sold selling price with the cost price five rupees. Then it is profit. So let's take here a shopkeeper posted how many bulbs. Number of bulbs will be total number of bulbs. Total number of bulbs will be equal to two hundred. Then what is the cost of ten two hundred bulbs? So cost price. So cost price will be CP will be equal to two hundred into ten. That is 
2000 rupees. 2000 rupees, they bought 200 bulbs. In that, how many of you fused? 5 bulbs are waste. So, number of bulbs, number of bulbs wasted, that will be equal to 5 bulbs. That means, from total 200, then what are the remaining bulbs? So, remaining bulbs will be equal to, remaining bulbs will be equal to 200 minus 5, you will get 195. So, these are the number of bulbs which are remaining bulbs. Then they were sold. So, what is the selling price? So, selling price that is SP of 195 bulbs will be equal to 195 into cast selling price of SP of SP of each bulb each bulb that is 195 195 into cast of each bulb will be 12 so 195 into 12 what you will get 195 into 12 will be equal to 2300 40 rupees 2340 rupees then this is sp so the sp will be equal to 2340 then cp will be equal to 2000 then what is the what is the relation between that so sp is greater than cp then what you will get definitely you will get gain percentage or profit so, what is meant by profit or gain? So, you have to take SP minus CP. That is, which one is greater? That one only we have to take. So, SP minus CP. What is that? 2340 minus 2000. Then what you will get? 340 rupees. Then what is the gain percentage? That is, profit percentage. That will be equal to, gain percentage will be equal to, so, what I told in previous questions, that is, gain percentage, discount percentage, whatever they are given, that one as it is, they have to write. So, gain by, what you have to write, denominator, it may be for market price or cost price, only compulsory cost price into 100. So, what is that gain will be? So, gain will be equal to 340, 340, then what is the cost price? 2000 into 100. So, had two zeros, two zeros will going to cancel, then 340 by 20, then 00, zero will going to cancel. Then what is the percentage value here? So what is the percentage? So let's take 34 by 2, 2 ones are 2 ones are 2, then 1 will be 2 sevens are 14. So 70 percentage, that is our value. So gain percentage will be 17 percentage. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.